Okay, so um, this uh, this week you said that uh, you didn't have a video, but you've got something you wanted to talk about. Yeah, so I just have uh, an article here since we're on the topic of money. Um, and this article is that uh, about Christian Dior, uh, you know, the brand. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that they're releasing a uh, skincare line for babies, uh, <laughs> which I just thought was interesting. And this article, it doesn't really um, discuss like these these costs and these prices here. Um, so, you know, like we've been uh, taking care of babies on, uh, th- you know, things like uh, some Johnson and Johnson. Uh, I mean, I know you don't have kids and stuff, but you know, like yeah. there's other brands out there that uh, have been used to like take care of children. Well, and you the know, headline and reads what 230, Two hundred thirty dollars mm. for scented water, yeah, and one hundred and fifteen dollars for moisturizer. Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you think that prices are crazy? At Excessive. All? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, you know, and uh, so I, I guess the scented water is like a spray, maybe like a body spray type of thing for babies. You know, okay. Because uh, in the article it lists like, uh, um, you know, you can get it uh, in different. Uh, colored bottles, whatever. Um, but yeah, I mean, babies gotta smell good. You know, <laughs> you know the moisturizer. Uh, Don't babies just smell like babies? Yeah, they smell like babies. You know, um, I guess you unless know. your kid needs a bath or something. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> but then, but then you gotta go with the uh, very expensive Christian Dior brand to make sure that your baby smell the best. You know, is this what you're pitching yeah. at me? I thought we were pointing out how ridiculous. Yeah, this yeah, was. it is. It is a little ridiculous. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and, <laughs> a you know, little ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you know, and I don't know, this, it really just struck me because I mean, like, uh, it's just, it's just very like Christian Dior is a very famous brand, you know, very known for, uh, you know, like, uh, high end fashion. Sure. You know, and a baby line just seems a bit much, especially when it's not kind of geared to like you know take on those new parents you know and all the extra bills they're gonna have to be paying for the baby you know yeah plus it's it's for babies yeah (laughs) yeah you know what this is reminding me of is uh, a couple days ago i was watching bad friends yeah and everyone was making fun of bobby lee because he had a 30 dollar bottle of water Mm -hmm. and he was saying how it tasted so great (laughs) yeah Yeah. Well, they were giving him crap on another episode, mm-hmm. so this time they got him some of the water, they mm-hmm. brought it in, except for when he wasn't there, mm-hmm. they poured it into another water bottle and then just mm-hmm. filled the tap, yeah. filled it from the tap, <laughs> and gave it to him, and he was talking about how awesome it yeah. was, <laughs> and then they showed him a video of them filling yeah. it from the tap. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I mean, what? Yeah. $115? For moisturizer and two hundred thirty dollars for scented yes. water. Yeah, yeah. So it's a bit much and just seems a little bit ridiculous. But I don't know. I, I would mean, just love to talk to who buys this. Yeah, and you know what? This is a little bit off topic, but but your story reminded me of something. So uh, a few years ago, maybe we should try to put like a link up about this story too. But um, a couple years ago, uh, someone made a little. Uh, they took. Um, what was that? Uh, Payless shoes. Okay. And they des- and they uh, designed it and made it look like a high fashion shoe store. Oh, did you ever see that? Wait, wasn't it Payless? Yeah. Oh, did I say Payless? Yeah. Wait, it was. Did, didn't they do it? Oh, it was. I thought that it was like another person used the. But Payless they like store. rebranded yeah. it or whatever. Yeah. And they were selling. Yeah, like yeah, twenty dollar pair of shoes for like hundreds of yes, dollars. Yeah, and you had all these like fashion people come in there, and they were like, "You can tell these are such high quality." Yeah, and none of the shoes changed. They only changed like this, the look of the store to make it look like it was a very very high end shoe store, but it was just a pay list that was redesigned on the inside. And then you got all these people in there like, "Oh, this is, you know, such great quality." And like they're looking at the prices in their thousands of dollar shoes, but they're like, "That's such a great price for the shoe. Like it's a it's a rip it's a deal." And then later on, they, they expose it like, you know, you're really just had to pay less. 
<laughs> yeah, you know, I'm looking it up. Uh, I see an article here that says uh, Payless doesn't need to trick bargain hunters with their fake luxury hoax. Mm -hmm. I think it was them. I think yeah. they did it themselves. <laughs> That's funny. It, to like point out like yeah. there's nothing wrong with our shoes. Yeah. If we were to tell you that these are $500 shoes, you'd mm -hmm. probably be like, oh, yeah. you were great. Yeah. The other thing, this uh, uh, now I've taken it down, but the what was it, two hundred and thirty dollars for scented water? Yeah, it just reminds me of that scene from uh, Wolf of Wall Street yeah. when the the dad's in there and he's yelling about, about their expenses, and he's like, "What was it, nineteen thousand dollars for appetizers? What did these appetizers cure cancer?" Yeah. And then Jonah Hill's character's like, "Actually, they did cure cancer. That's why they were so expensive." Yeah. And they're all like, "Shut the hell up." <laughs> 